something about watching that art. You know, it's flat welds, vertical welds, um, about to start on overhead weld. You know, to know that you did a good job and you got a good quality weld put down, it makes you feel good. I just have to show you what I can do. Everybody that I come in contact with, that you know, I tell them I'm going to school for welding, it seems like their face light up. We have a, a one-year certificate program and a half-year certificate of proficiency. And I never thought that A, I'd be back in school, and B, that it would be for welding. The welding one, the students start with safety, then we go into SMAW welding, which is also known as stick welding, and we work toward a 3G and 4G certification. The second semester, the student goes into pipe welding, flux cord arc welding, and TIG welding. I'm that type of person, man, you put a test down in front of me, even if I knew it, I freak out. I'm like, oh my God, a test, a test. It's, it's not like that at all. I mean, you know, we do some book work, but for the most part, I mean, it's all lab work and getting in there and figuring out what works for you. The friendships and, that I've created while in school has even carried on after because, you know, the the instructors still call me time to time and like how things go and it's not just like a lot of other institutions where we got your money, you're graduated, we're done with you. They just strive for me to do my best and that's what I can do. It's like, they just give good advice to, you know, and like not to give up. for a welder graduating from Pulaski Tech can expect to make between $9.50 and $15 an hour depending on where you start and where you go at. I mean, I've got a friend who actually came out of this program, that's why I started doing it. Uh, he was doing the same thing as me as restaurants and he's now making, he's been doing it for three years, making $23 an hour. There's more jobs in the Little Rock area right now than I could ever feel. Uh, once I started getting into this, it's just like a whole world opened up. Um, you can, literally on the pipeline bring home 20,000 a month, 5,000 a week, easy. There's jobs anywhere you want to go as a welder. There's a nationwide welder shortage. Since I've been doing this, we've probably had four or five companies come in to the program. Uh, letting us know what they're about, what they're looking for, looking for people out of this actual program. So it's a huge placement program. Give you an example, I'm getting recruitment letters from Mobile, Alabama, and Homer, Louisiana, Houston, Texas, trying to get students to move down there to go to work in the shipyards and oil field industry. Got on at AFCO Steel here in Little Rock, and uh, they are the highest paid fab shop in the Little Rock area. People are always going to have to build things. You know, I mean, there's always a boom for it, there's always a demand for it, and once you're certified in it and you're reliable and steady with it, I mean, you, you've got it made. A regular four-year bachelor degree doesn't guarantee you a job with a certain income. A licensed trade does. It's incredible. I just kick myself every time for not going on and getting to this out of, right out of high school. Knowing what I know now, at 18, 17, 18, I would have gone into a trade a long time ago. School isn't for everybody, and uh, big, long four-year degrees and eight-year degrees and becoming a doctor and a lawyer isn't for everybody. I mean, a lot of people like stuff like this and like the labor industry and learning new things and constantly changing and constantly having to be certified. I think it's a great, if I were to tell them face to face, look into anything like that, look into a trade, look into your future. It's one of these trades that is a lifetime trade. You know, once you have a trade, you may go into something else, but then you can always fall back on your trade.